Last year, we hosted a discussion between noted geographer Marxist David Harvey and noted journalist Marxist Alexander Coburn about the direction of the economy. It was such a hit that we did a live reprise in New York City at the City University Graduate Center last month. We have had so many requests for that video now that we're going to play a clip right here on the show. Take a look. We're also making this video available for supporters of this program. There'll be information at our website. Because if, as, as you say, investment is now in assets, not in production and manufacturing, what would that employment picture look like? For one thing, uh, we need to completely reorganize, say, the urban system of the United States. Here's a, here's, here's a minor project. Okay. <laughs> Does that fit on a, on a placard? Uh, yeah, we could, uh, I mean, we, we have an urbanization uh, picture in the United States, uh, which is profligate in relationship to energy consumption. It's not, it doesn't make sense. Uh, it's appalling in terms of the kind of social relations it's, it's predisposed to encourage. It's based upon a very speculative way in which housing has become now, as it were, an asset which everybody speculates in and, you know, even lower income people tried to speculate into it and of course got burned. So uh, we have to change, if you like, uh, the patterns of home ownership uh, to something else, a collective form of, uh, uh, of shelter. We have to change uh, the energy configurations, which is not about new technologies. There's too much of this technological fix. It's about actually really radically changing the way in which people live together and the way in which they work together and the kinds of jobs which can be generated. Now, there are some small-scale experiments with that sort of thing going on in many, many communities. The problem is that they're small-scale and they remain small-scale and nobody will ever sort of take that much notice of them until they actually become integrated into a much larger project to try to reconstruct uh, the whole, if you like, geography of, of urban development, not only in this country, but actually worldwide. In Pittsburgh, but also in Miami and, and in this city too, there is a right to the city movement that's been talking about the right to housing. Can that be an organizing principle? I mean, when you say there aren't these discussions happening, there is that one. Yeah, and obviously the squatters movement raised it for a long time, and, and the right to housing. I think, I mean, another area is, is debt. I mean, I would have thought p people, if you, st there was a brief moment when the sheriff of Cook County, you remember, refused to repo the houses uh, on the uh, people who were being evicted, and he refused to go and handle the foreclosure, and it created some stir across the country. But I don't think it would be that hard to start up a debt repudiation movement so you just, you know, in every town you'd have a great truck going by and everyone tell everyone to put their credit card bills on and drive the truck to Washington and park it outside Joe Biden's house. Because <laughs> Joe, Joe Biden, you know, as the, the creature of the banks in the state of Delaware, was the person who wrote the laws which, you know, compelled people into bankruptcy and can't, didn't give them the merciful release of Chapter 10 but kept them hocked up for the rest of their days.